Welcome to another beautiful day in the Bay Area. It was just raining an hour ago, like pouring rain, and it's all nice all of a sudden, which is great. We are hatching a five kilometer egg right now. Today is the beginning, the first day of the Rivals Week event in Pokemon Go. Five kilometer eggs are honestly the biggest waste of time <laughs> ever. And here's an event spawn right off the rip. We have a Survivor. So this event's gonna feature a lot of regional Pokemon. They're in the raids, they're in the wild, and they're great shinies to hunt for because they're regional, especially the ones that are not from where you live. We got an extra, extra small Eevee right there, nice. And with this event, we have a time research. We have to catch 15 fighting types, power up 15 fighting types, earn 10,000 dust, 20,000 XP, win three raids, and battle in the Go Battle League five times. Pretty easy stuff there. We're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six encounters. I'm assuming that's all of the event Pokemon, and then we get TMs, 5,000 XP, and candy. It's also Go Battle Weekend. We have a Go Battle Weekend time research where you need to battle five times, 10 times, use 10 super effective charge attacks, and power up 10 times for a bunch of XP, avatar items, rare candies, and a charge TM, which is one of the best items in the game. I'll definitely work on this and get this done because it doesn't matter if you're level one or if you're level 50, a charge TM is one of the most important items in the game. Super useful. Make sure you guys take advantage of this research. Do your battles, get it done. Outside of the regional, this event isn't too crazy. We just have a bunch of spawns in the wild and whatever, but I'm excited to check it out. We do have increased shiny chances with those regionals, so hopefully we get lucky. And a special little thing they're doing with this event, for the first two days, Sangus and Surviper are in the wild and in raids. The next two days, Throw and Sock are in the wild and in raids. And the next two days, Heatmore and Durant are in the wild and in raids. So depending on which regionals you guys want to hunt, you guys can pick whatever days to hunt on. I'm actually curious here how many we have two shiny zangus all time we have three shiny survivor all time i did not even know that we have one two three four five shiny throw we do not have a shiny sock that is my biggest goal dude i've seen it in so many events i've been around the world never been able to clutch it out so shiny sock is our goal for this event gonna hunt in those two or three days shiny hemo we currently have five of but i actually have a ton of that one for some reason and then shiny durant excuse me shiny durant we have five as well this is my first one ever actually during covid long lockdown. I remember I got this in the wild during a, uh, was it GoFest? I think it was GoFest or maybe it's Safari Zone. But I have plenty of every shiny regional except zero sock. So we got to make some sock happen. But these regionals are not going to come to me. I got to go find them. So we're going to work on this. But actually, one thing we got to knock out is powering up Pokemon. Oh gosh. And what do you know? I got a great candidate right here, the Heracross. My 100% of be lucky Heracross. I got a bunch of XL candies during the Heracross raid day. So there is a good amount of power-ups. It's not enough. I'm glad we're making some progress there, but I still need a lot of candies low-key. And I guess I'm looking at all my hundo fighting types. We'll just do a Metacham and level that up some, I guess, whatever. It's a cool Pokemon. It's got a Mega, right? We should power that up, and I think that'll do it. Uh, talk to me. Yes. Oh, two more. Okay, one, two, three. Let's just get that done. Thank you. Okay, we're moving along pretty well. Go Battle Week research is halfway done. Uh, Rivals Week needs some work, but we'll get that done easily. And this is a random task right here. What is this? A uh, Snivy. Thanks. Also, with this, we get our research breakthrough. So let's go ahead and claim that right now. Speaking of research, my research breakthrough has been pretty awful. You know, Stone. 2000 dust, some XP. It's starting to rain again, which is not great. Encounter Furfro, not shiny. Oh, it's coming down. Okay, hopefully that stops. It could have been the tree I was under. Hopefully it does not rain though. Okay, and actually pulling up to a showcase right here because obviously we want to hop in it. It is a sock showcase. Great. I don't even know if I have one. I guess I do. It is a rank five. All right, that won't last, but cool. Hopefully that'll bring me some regional luck, even though we're definitely not going to win that. Um, okay, we have a bunch of spawns here, and obviously, as you can tell, we are by some water. So we can really enjoy this new background, although it's raining, so it doesn't look beautiful. But let's go ahead and pop our daily insets and see what this event is all about. And don't forget, oh, we got an event spawn right here, a little sand true. The last time I was here, I had an adventure and a half. I had five shiny Pokemon, two of which were brand new, I think, and three of which were in like the same 30 minutes. And I think they were all full odds. I don't remember the exact details, but I remember it was an absolute banger. And if you guys haven't seen it, you guys can go check it out. I got my first ever shiny Stunky here, my first ever shiny Hippowdon or Hippopotus. We got a tap of whatever. It was a banger. So the luck of this park has been really good. I'm not going to worry about that uh, Darumaka right now. Seal, not shiny. Also, really big issue, and I and I genuinely am asking this. I'm not even, like, trying to joke around. Has anyone else's phones not been throwing as the same? Like, you see that? That keeps happening there? Like that? Exactly? Like, my curveballs aren't... It's stopping me from curveballing. Like, I'm not even... I don't know what that is. I just got this phone. And then when I do throw, it's like over them. Ah, there's no water in my phone. Like it's just literally not letting me throw. I don't know if that's a, oh, Shelder. I haven't seen a Shelder in forever. Dude, why isn't this working? It's very, very, very frustrating. <laughs> and oh my, what the heck is that kind of wild executor on the incense? Let's grab this bad boy if it lets me throw a ball, which it is absolutely not. It's not my phone. It's not my phone. I was actually able to hit it and catch it there, which is nice. I don't know if this issue is on my end. Like I feel like it's not my phone. This is brand new. It's not wet. There's nothing wrong with it. I haven't dropped it, but catching Pokemon has been so weird for me lately. Fingers crossed it's not an actual game issue. 
too, but it's definitely been bothering me. Don't forget, you also get 10 times XP for spinning Pokestops during this event, which is kind of nice too. And speaking of the Daily Incense, as I catch another Shelter, Shelter does offer some great Stardust opportunities, so I'm going to grab this bad boy. Speaking of the Daily Incense, if you haven't seen a recent adventure, go check it out, man. I, I ran into a Galarian Moltres, and speaking of my phone not working, maybe it is my phone. I got absolutely joked out of getting a Galarian Moltres. Like, most of the time, I would argue it is my fault. Even when I throw an excellent and all that, I could have been better somehow. Not really. But uh, this time, it wasn't my fault. You guys can go and check out that clip and enjoy that. But we ran into a glare mole trace. Uh, obviously, as you can tell, I'm not really too happy about it, so I didn't get it. But you guys knew that. I'm over 34 or 40. Honestly, I was going to say this. If somebody wants to go through my whole catalog of videos and log every legendary bird that I have ever ran into, because I would like to know the actual official number, I'll add you on Pokemon Go and make you my best friend, because I really want to know how many legendary birds I have lost. It's definitely more than 20. I don't think it's more than 50, but either way, it's too many. Now, I'm glad we are getting a Master Ball again with that Master Ball of Event coming in a few weeks because that'll be my third master ball and maybe because I have three of them I'll actually use one we'll see actually you know what I did use a master ball if you guys haven't seen that adventure you gotta go watch that it's a classic I used my master ball it didn't really work um, which was my fault really obviously honestly it wasn't the master balls fault I was trying to cheat the system it just didn't work now here's something I want to do we're gonna take a pause on the daily incense and do a tapu finny raid I'm actually one of the few people that is kind of happy this is in raids I have a hundo and I want a 50 max it and I need a lot more XL candies so I need to do a lot of raids to get XL candies and 50 max this one day and actually funny segue speaking of days I just dropped a new song on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all that good stuff. It's called Four Days. Go check it out. It's live everywhere right now where you can listen to music. Give it a shot. See if you're vibing with it. I would really appreciate that support, guys. Anyways, Tapu Fini Raid goes down right here. I should have probably mega evolved the Pokemon for extra candy. 2010 was a great year, but probably not a great Tapu Fini. Also not a shiny, unfortunately, but it is cool to catch it with this background. This is a very fitting setting for a Tapu Fini. And of course... On the excellent, it doesn't go down, but on the worst ball ever, it does. Down it goes with four XL candies. I'm pretty happy about that. 15 attack, three star. I didn't know if that was going to be good or not. That could have been the hundo for all I know, but GG's, tap of finny. And you know, there's one more thing I noticed. I wanted to finish the Glitz and Glam research today. There's a lot of research. I mean, I still have a bunch of special research to finish. We have a bunch of time research at the moment, which I think is awesome. I know it can be overwhelming sometimes, but I actually enjoy always having something to work towards. What am I doing? Where's that meta chat mat? We're going to have to power it up some more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten something yeah okay cool and with that we have finished stage four of the glitz and glam research now this is the stage i believe where i would have got a dnc counter but i already have a dnc so we're not going to get that we're just going to get 25 candies 2000 dust some xp and we're still not done what is stage five evolve five power up bro hey guys hey hey pokemon go what's going on what what, what is happening these last few weeks where you're just draining everybody for stardust i mean i understand this is special research and you can get this done in 10 years you don't have to do it right now but uh you you know, every task, every stage, power up 15, 20 times, 30 times. I, I'm running low. I'm at 7 million Stardust, okay? And I know that sounds like a lot, and it is a lot but I had a lot more and I lost it all. So let's let's relax. Making me power up 15 times for candy or 15 times for 100 XP is not cutting it. Please no more Stardust, enough of that. Okay, and check this out. We got some regional spawns here. Uh, for, for the first time during this event, a Zangoose, which would be an amazing shiny. You guys have seen this. I've cut a lot of it. I can't throw balls today. I've tried Pokeballs, Great Balls, Ultra Balls. They're all doing this ball glitch. There is no cracks on my phone. It's a brand new phone. It's not wet out here. Why is this happening? There's literally nothing wrong. Please let me know if you guys are having this issue or if I just suck. Bro, dude. And, and it's not like I'm like going too far on my phone. I'm literally staying right in the middle and it's just like the ball keeps coming back. And hey, it's not me, right? Because your boy, your boy chalks excellence like it's nobody's business. But I'm about to go out of business if I can't throw a ball. I don't know what's happening. Okay, we're back home. I was getting frustrated, bro. I don't know what is going on. Do you see this? Like, look how regularly slow I'm throwing the ball. Okay, of course it works when I show you guys. But I either can't throw the ball or it goes way past the Pokemon. And there's a mosquito right there. And I'm going to stand over here. And, and I don't know what's going on. Please let me know if this is just a me thing or not. Like, it's literally, like, it's just not letting me throw. Or it's going way over its head. Dude! Dude, I don't know what it is. There's no in between. Like I have to really, oh my gosh. And I've tried throwing left. I'll, I'll throw left right now. I promise the direction of the ball is not changing anything. Like that ball went so far past the Doe Duo. And of course that one hits it right there, but ugh, so frustrating, bro. My game is broken. I don't know what's going on. I really hope this is just a me issue. If it is, if anybody knows how to fix 
shit, please tell me. I don't want anyone else to deal with this because it's very frustrating. Like, that ball is soaring over their head and there's... <laughs> I've wasted so many balls. This has been happening to me the last couple of days and it's been really frustrating. I haven't changed any setting on my phone. I haven't changed anything on Pokemon Go. It's just not like, I'm not making this up because we're seeing this in live time. It's just not, what is going on? Oh my gosh, this is a joke. This is an absolute joke. I can't even play. Can't even catch. Dude, I think I'm gonna stop raiding because if I run into a hundo, I'm not gonna be able to throw on it. I can't even get the ball off. This is uh, frustrating and embarrassing to say the least. Dude, I mean, are we serious? How many balls have I wasted? this encounter i can't even find the sweet spot there's no sweet spot even if i look okay watch this we're gonna do a tutorial together on how to throw in pokemon go like it's day one i'm gonna give it a nice regular throw and i miss it's too low i'm gonna give it a higher throw and it's gonna be perfect because of course when i want to show an example, i don't have to prove it you guys have seen it time and time again in this video it's frustrating and the oricorio ran great but yeah, man, uh, just kind of made today a little bit unplayable for me. I was a little bit frustrated. I'm not going to lie. I had to call this one early because it was just getting to me. But anyways, we had a bunch of research to work on. And this is the Wonder Ticket Stage 2 of Part 3. And there's a lot of goodies here. We got a Lucky Egg, a Poffin, and our only encounter on this screen. Our last stage was a Poi Pole. If you guys haven't seen me claim that, check my recent adventure. And this reward is a Skrelp. Not a Shiny, unfortunately. And here we go. <laughs> Down that goes, 427. IVs are absolutely absolutely trash no worries let's claim the rest of that stage give me a raid pass some stardust some xp and here's stage three explore seven kilometers evolve a poison type make an excellent throw and you get an incense 5,000 dust 10,000 xp five candies an encounter and 15 poi pole candy i'm down that is very nice we're gonna finish this research in our next adventure but a lot of encounters here that should be exciting also i'll finish this as well because it's very important so this will be in our next adventure too and i guess we'll work on this too even though it's gonna cost me all my stardust uh we'll work on the dnc research as well but that'll do it for today a little bit frustrating apologies for that nothing i could really do i i couldn't throw at any pokemon out there and I was like what's the point of grinding the incense and grinding out when I just can't even I don't know what the fix is uh maybe my screen's broken I don't know maybe it's the game I hope it's the game so it's not a me thing and I don't have to get a new phone or anything but let me know if you guys have experienced anything similar that was playing on an Android by the way maybe the iPhone doesn't have this problem I don't know but uh speaking of problems we have not had a problem with our luck lately if you guys haven't seen my last couple of adventures check them out they've been good